Steve Luke, NSA finalist, 2008. Steve, want to talk about the expectations this year that you have for the Wolverines and yourself? So, uh, runner-up last year, uh, how do you think that's motivated you this year? What are the expectations and goals? Well, I mean, obviously I have high expectations every year. I've improved. That's the same way I was in high school. I try to improve every year. So, I mean, I was a qualifier my first year. Had a little letdown at NCAA. Cut, cutting so, a lot of weight, actually. Yeah, I was, I was cutting some weight. Yeah. Um, then my second year I took six and then as a runner up. So this year I look to improve and hopefully uh, just take one match at a time, win every match, and hopefully end up on top this year. Okay, over the summer, what did you do to get towards going from, you know, six, second to first? What, you know, what'd you do? Uh, well, I st stuck around here in Ann Arbor most of the summer. I went home every once in a while on the weekends, but I was taking classes and uh, I was just working out. Um, two, three times a week wrestling and then lifting three times a week. We had a pretty good lifting schedule and conditioning, so I had that. And then when our camps come, we have some good workout partners in there. For three, four weeks, we, we get a solid, solid month of good hard wrestling, and then we take a few weeks off, and then we came in here uh, end of August, beginning of September, and just got right back after it. So I didn't let myself uh, take too many breaks to where I let myself get out of condition, and I forgot... Uh, my timing and stuff in wrestling. I just uh, was consistent throughout the summer, so just picked up on little areas. Okay, you guys got you and Todd back, probably the top returners. Okay, he's actually swapping weights with yeah, Anthony, he's, correct? Uh, he's bumping up to 97, and Anthony Biondo is dropping down to 84. So. Okay, how do you think that's going to improve Michigan as a team? Well, Ty's a really strong kid, and he's really quick too, so at 97, he's going to. He's going to be just as strong as those 97 pounders, and he's going to be quicker than those 97 pounders. So I think he's going to do real well at 97. And Biondo was a real small 97 pounder last year. So and he did he did decent at uh, 97. He did better at the beginning, then he hurt his elbow and had a few injuries and didn't do as well at the end. But once he drops down to 84, he'll be around people his size. So I think we're going to do better both at 84 and 97. Um, heavyweights, our heavyweights are more experienced. Our 125 pounders a year more experienced. Uh, we might have a we might have a few uh, true freshmen in this year, and uh, uh, we'll have Justin Zurab at 65, who's really solid redshirt freshman. Uh, people are gonna be surprised at how well he does um, if he does as well in his matches as he does in practice. He's gonna he's gonna surprise a lot of people. So overall, our lineup's pretty young, fairly young, but we're also really solid. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, Steve, you're an Ohio guy. You got a lot of real tough Ohio guys on the team. How important is it to you to keep bringing Ohio kids to, to Michigan? Uh, well, considering Ohio is the best wrestling state in the country, <laughs> us in Pennsylvania. You sure about that? Yeah, we're we're number one. PA is number two. <laughs> uh, so, and Michigan borders Ohio, so that's that's a big uh, recruiting state, especially with uh, most of our coaching staff coming from Ohio. So it's important just to keep bringing those guys up there. Um, and uh, getting those solid guys, but I mean, we're our coaching staff's pretty pretty wide open. We recruit whoever's the best guy. That's where yeah, we're Montana really guys, got California guys, we got Montana guys, California guys, we Jersey, got some Pennsylvania guys. You know, we got a uh, kid from Florida coming in. Florida. I mean, back when I was in high school, I didn't even know there were uh, wrestling teams in Florida. But uh, so as long as we just keep bringing solid guys here, I mean, this is my fifth year, so <laughs> technically <laughs> it's important for. Uh, the tradition of Michigan wrestling to keep bringing the guys in, but for me, I'm done. <laughs> All right, Steve, last question. I'm going to let you off the hook, let you go to the ceremony. Uh, How important is that number one ranking to you? You're the preseason number one guy. Does it mean anything you do, or you just kind of whatever rankings are rankings? How do you feel about that? I, I, I could care less about uh, rankings. Um, they, they never pan out at the end. I mean, if you look... Uh, most of the time, like the top eight guys, it's not that's not the way it finishes, and rankings don't really mean anything. A lot of times, they have rankings in Ohio for the state tournament. They have uh, Brakeman does these rankings, and he, he he's the. I mean, I wasn't always ranked first, and I came in first when I wasn't ranked first, so it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if some if I would drop this year, I mean, I don't I don't let stuff get to me. I don't even really look at the rankings at all. At our matches, whenever we're wrestling, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, ranked," and then that's that's when I know what I'm ranked. But besides that, I don't I don't check out the the mat.com or amateur wrestling news or, 
pay-per-views or anything like that. But you watch Flow Wrestling? Yeah, I watch Flow Wrestling. Okay. But, I mean, my brother used to post on the mat.com and the kid never wrestled before and knew nothing about it. That, that's the experience of those people that post on, on those websites. The bloggers? Yeah, the, the bloggers. is people that, that pretty much have never done anything in their lives and they have all the free time in the world. To, to <laughs> you just got to worry about winning. Yeah, exactly. You, you're not, you're going to cut that, right? Or, all right. All right, Steve. <laughs> we'll catch up with you at the uh, ceremony. All right.